Sammy had two really bad headaches in a span of about 10 days. His nurse um, from his school called us and had essentially said that something's going on, I really encourage you to, to go in. Sammy was asleep and I just remember the doctor coming into the room and he goes, can I talk to you outside? He took us out into the hallway and he said that they had found a tumor I just remember going back in and he was still asleep and just looking down at him and going, our whole world just shifted and you have no idea. I, 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 I didn't really know if I was going to survive because I didn't know how serious it was. Because like, that I'm, I'm like nine, so I'm not that smart. It was kind of shocking because he was only nine and usually you only really hear about older patients. Everything was so normal and then all of a sudden, it just wasn't. So like, it was just like, really tough for me to like handle it and like, process it really. I just like, it was really hard just like knowing that I couldn't do anything to help them. We started talking with family and friends, formulating, okay, let's find out what it is. Let's find out what we can do and, and start getting what we need to get done. Um, and, and that started 15 minutes after that worst <laughs> sound of the world of the doctor telling you your son has cancer. Like nobody except for my mom and dad were allowed in the hospital room with them, like at all, like no one, we couldn't even, my, me and my sister couldn't visit them. And my brothers and sisters didn't, didn't see me for like, like four months. That must have been really hard for them. Like the closest they ever got to me was through a window, like 30 feet down. I remember my mom saying that he always wanted to call me and FaceTime me from the hospital. Like, any chance you got. His first question, he asked if he was gonna die. And then his second question was, will I ever be able to play baseball again? Every single doctor, nurse, therapist that we worked with would ask Sammy, what's his why? And his why would always be, I want to play baseball. I'm going to play baseball again. So the, the amazing community support was outstanding. Everyone came from all over the place to help support us to where then we could just focus on what was needed for Sam. And so it's amazing to see how strong we were for each other when there were 100% days where you did not want to get out of bed. There was no, there was very little <laughs> desire. But seeing the strength of that nine-year-old, that was scared, but was playing Legos. There was playing baseball cards. All the things he has been through and gets up every day, works hard following surgery to go through speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and, and gets up and does, and does it. Just seeing that, my journey's easy. I just have to support everybody else around. And, and so that amazing community support and family support was awesome. I think research is an enormously powerful tool to be able to help with, with treatment, not knowing why is it, but then also helping the kiddos and the, and the fighters that, that are needing the, those treatments and to make it better. All the research is going on is needed and there's exponentially more research needed than, than is what's going on. So any money raised to go for this will help families, hopefully tomorrow, much sooner. He works hard at everything he does, and there's no obstacle that he's not afraid to take on. And, and that's amazing to witness. I think he can do anything that he wants, and he knows that we all have his back and we all support him. And it's, it's fun to see what, what they're gonna do. Come on.
I'm Sammy Strawn. I'm 12 years old and a cancer survivor.